Hello and again, welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers. My name is Ray Comes and we are alive here in our nether colony on the Patreon server. I just came online and people were already hearing the uh, Endermen jumping around in the background. So we are live here. Hi John, hi Serum. Hi Amazing Barrel, hi Ninja, how are you guys doing? Did I miss? Hi Super Minix as well. I think I got everyone now. Hi Gray. Um, so, is, so, we got Shirley is already around here, and Sam Letters is not yet around though. Ah, uh, yes, but he's already in voice here with me. Yeah, hi. And we got here some Endermen jumping around. They're actually hanging out with our citizens here. I don't know what their problem is. <laughs> Let me make a quick escape platform and then kill those if endermen. If we get like two knights, we can easily get our waste all set up. Uh huh. So, mate, yeah. So, killing those. Oops, I also hit my builder, unfortunately. I'm sorry, builder. I got some weird... Come on, builder, you don't have to walk into my direction when I'm trying to kill the Enderman. <laughs> Did I get... I got one underpearl. Nice. Um, wait for a second. So, I'm gonna. Um, how many colonists are still alive? All four, it appears, but they all seem to be uh, very hungry. <laughs> um, so, uh, the first thing we want to do is to get our builder set up. Uh, I'm going to go to the build. Uh, there's another Enderman around here. Um, so, going to attack another one. Going to hide here. Oh no, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Jump, yeah. three, run, run. No. I made it! <laughs> I tried attacking you. I made it! I, I, I chose a bad place. Um, the uh, command to go to the console was T max A minus T, and I think this here. So, where is this Enderman? Where are you, nasty? Hi, Ross. Yeah, I didn't make it wide enough. I thought one wide was enough. Oh, there he is. The nasty. Again? Come teleport here. I know you can so do so it. So you started the fight, then he hit back, and then you ran away. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, nasty? Ah, you nasty. You know exactly that. I don't like fair fights with Enderman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is not This is not how this works. <laughs> oh 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 oh. I have to call my builder back and if, too if late. You <laughs> <laughs> no builder back. So we, we've lost one. <laughs> okay. Um, Those piglins are like super aggro. The, the piglins are super aggro. So I'm 
we have two things to do here basically. Um, for once, I started a build request, and I'm. And we need to make like a bigger wall. <laughs> and we have to make a bigger wall some, that kind of goes time. around all of this area. Um. Just big enough for one builder and two guards. I, I did fix the hole in the wall. I did fix the hole in the wall. Uh, um, then then just cancel it, the, the server restart loop. And I'm going to uh, check out the server. Uh, the schematic server after the video. Then. Um, so we do need a bigger wall. And I'm not sure if we can prevent piglin spawns within our economy. Maybe not, but we can like use guards to kill them. Um, I'm going to make a wall extension for now. Did you visit um, our overworld place yet? No, I didn't. Because that one has also the beds to set spawn points. Ah, nice. Hi Raven. Maybe we should do that before fighting a number. <laughs> um, control C, uh, you stop the loop. Yeah, control C is always killing. Uh, you kill uh, kill the server just with control C. Hi Mr. Seminus. And then we continue this here. A bit f By the way, I set up some small storage for us. So? A little bit of sorting. So making sure here no one can enter. Then, uh, so we got already one part closed off. Here there are more piglins. So we have. I have to go down quickly, get a little bit more materials, and then we close off the other side. Oh, someone made uh, some letters out of this. Nice. Okay, Kugo. See you around. Ah, that's better. <laughs> so, um, no, those piglins are super. <laughs> yeah, the, the piglins are super aggro. Um, I'm going to get more of these planks, and then I go back up again. So we have food, diamonds, ores, etc. That's this, and we go back up again. Oh, I have a lot of gold nuggets as well. Fits also in here. And this here is fungus. Fungus, 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 fungus. More fungus. Great. And um, it can be dirt as well. Um, if the builder asks for, for grass, usually dirt is fine as well. Ah yes, those are zombie pigmen here, aren't they? You're not piglins. Yes, those are zombie pigmen. So, we got here oh, a corner fighting. around. So what I'm going to do is probably finishing the wall around the area and then kill them. <laughs> yeah. And then kill the zombie piglins, unfortunately. That's probably the best way. So, and then we continue a wall over here so just make sure here and then we can continue a little bit here as well and then we are getting one builder and three guards and then we get one builder and three guards <laughs> first thing yeah this is here a little bit the hard edition I would say that is not yeah, the easiest sure. approach um, yes. So many endermen as well. Why? I, I walk one side with uh, Lazarek now. <clears throat> oh, so it should be closed now. So I got some more planks. Oh, I need food before we Okay, fight. I got already this part. We got already walled off, and I can't come through. Um, so that should be fine. I wonder, are there baby piglins 
baby beep zombie pigmen that is? I don't think so. Yeah. But I don't think we got any. So, here that is walled off as well. I can't walk here? No. I'm getting some food before we are fighting. Yes, okay. I think we're walled off now. And we got so many endermen here. It's insane. Yeah. I, I saw, think oh. I'm just making a boat. What was this? What? <laughs> what was this? I didn't even look at him. Wait. You, you're such a lemon. You just die if, my, if, he, if I leave you alone for two seconds. I, I didn't even look at it. him. <laughs> that nasty. Two seconds. Didn't even look at him. I was... <laughs> Just very peacefully and quietly building my wall. And I guess you did not set your respawn before it. No, I didn't. <laughs> it, it's not like I told you, right? <laughs> yeah, I, mu I must have accidentally somehow looked. Oh, uh, I'm building or so. Yeah. Those aggros. Eh, potentially, while I was looking over the wall. I wasn't even trying to look at you, madness. So... Good thing that we have, oh, uh, almost, good thing that we have an underground path that is not so difficult to take. Um, load, load, load. So. So. Um Ah oh, you got made a direct tunnel from 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 here. Okay, that's better. I think Shirley was busy to clean up our mess a little bit. <laughs> um Yes, we are um Ninja, we talked about that that we are um Almost definitely going from the um, Paul move over this server to where the 115 is hosted, and are going to uh, host the 115 somewhere else. So, doom, doom, doom. There we go. On. One second, yeah. Ah, nice. You made the direct tunnel through this. And we go... We're getting very close, I think. And we're almost there. I can see my grave already, so I'm very close now. <laughs> I'm going to first go through the portal in the overworld and set my bed. The best part is that Hi you didn't do it, then nearly died, and I told you to do it before you die, and then you died. <laughs> I, I nearly died, and then I really died. <laughs> so where's this here leading, actually? Okay, I think I 
killed all Endermen now. Ah, huh? there is one left. Um, is he right? I wonder if I'm. I have to eat some of those potato here. Ah, you're you're Octan Discord. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Wait, did I just run in a circle? <laughs> I'm confused about your tunnel here, Shirley. <laughs> Some something is weird with this tunnel here. Okay, I was here already. I went down here. Down here. So where are we? Ah, this here is the right way. This here is the right way. And then we go up here. Then we go right. Ah, that's where it's up. I went down the other side where the old tunnel went. That's why. Yeah, I have to go. And now I found a way. Now I found. I'm getting close to my. At least, at least I found a reason to get all the remaining veggies we had. So, I guess that's a plus point. So, now I just have to jump in here. Ah, here. Jump. And. Hi, Octa! <laughs> There you are. Then we deliver all our veggies and the veggie seeds we got here. And then we go in the overworld quickly. Set our spawn. <coughs> but the amount of Endermen is still pretty exceptional. I've never seen so many. Woodlocks. Yeah, quite a lot on the end. In the nether here. It's, it's a lot, yes. Fungus, food. Ah, here seeds. That is uh, quite exceptionally much. So, honeydew. Now we go to the other side, set our spawn point, <laughs> and then we are prepared for more. And um, we do have oak saplings, but I'm not sure. Respawn point set. Nice. Oh, did we spawn like underground here? Is that really where our portal spawned? So, and now we... This, this... Okay, I, I thought already he was aggro at me again. <laughs> at the moment I think we do need all our saplings. But in the future I think we're going to be fine. But for now, we have to set them... Okay, here's my death. Um, here's my stuff. Um, do I have any food? Yes, I do have some food with me. Hi, Sad Horizon. How are you? So. Oh, there's an actual piglin here as well. Yeah, a normal one. I'm killing the other one at the moment. Do piglins also aggro against our citizens? Mm, at least, not sure. Maybe. Not Maybe enough, we'll right? see. Are the mobs lagging for you as well? A bit, yes. Oh my god, there are so many of them. And now they're outside of the wall. Um. I think now we are relatively safe. Let's just let me remove that death point. Ouch. God damn it. Delete. Done. Yeah, we do have an, an, a mod oh, extra install for the item durability. Oh wow. How did that one make it in? He just jumped too high. 
penalties again. You nasty. This is against the rules, do you know that? Okay, I killed the main one. Ah! There was a delay between spawning the smaller ones. Lag. Um, so let's see our builder walking to to his hut if that is going to actually solve anything and I wonder actually if the hut maybe is going to delete some of the wall we've added around it we'll have to reinforce that then in the worst case for now He's going to start at least a build request. Get to build it again? Not we got some enough, bread, eh? okay, awesome. Yeah, I just gave him some. I serve with pleasure. Um, the new update includes the nether update, yes, it does. Okay. Uh, it's because our citizens are neutral entities, so I'm not sure piglins aggro against neutral entities, that's the thing. Um, although it depends if the piglins are like in the monster group, because if they're in the monster group, they're going to aggro against players as well. Yeah. But since piglins usually do not aggro against players, I'm not entirely sure how that AI of them works, the target AI. Uh, can I grab so I can see the base? Any yes, sure. No problem. Okay, we do need a lot of warped blocks. We need basalt, netherrack, and warped blocks in general. So I'm going to go downstairs. Wait, do I have? Yes. I'm going to get some tools quickly. So. Oh, there's another piglin trapped in here. So, and um, the cords are here. 51, 71, minus 650. So, and we need some nether rack as well. Are you going with a nether colony as well? You're going to be interesting then. We have a few nether colonies on the server. So, I'm going down. I'll get an axe and a hoe. And then we see further. And the cords are oh, the cords on the minimap as well. <laughs> so, fungus food ores and diamonds okay i think that's where this goes this is fungus do we have something for mob drops yeah left side mob drops there it goes magma cream grave dust and oh that rotten flesh is like super nice because all of that is leather yeah. we do need urgently So, and that's where fuel goes apparently, and we are smelting this copper ore here. Um, I, our colony um, in general we're playing only among the developers. We do not have uh, problems people bringing us presents, but in general we are the a deaf only colony because this way we only make progress during the videos and not have a huge amount of progress between each of the videos oh no, that's not basalt so there was a bunch of this and we will need basalt as well um, iron I should get here some iron Getting some sticks. So I wanted a hoe. And I wanted 
an X and I think that's fine for now um, I'm not sure if there were <laughs> Sam is having fun as always I see Ah oh, no, that, that hoe is not for the builder, that was for me. I, I took also... That was for me, all the materials. And we need some of these warped leather blocks, I believe. Of those warped blocks? Of so these warped uh, wood stuff. Yes. I'm getting the warp blocks and I cut some warp wood as well. And we need a lantern too. Yeah, but we got iron. So. Yeah, I wanted to first deliver all the needed items to the builder hut before we give her the tools. Because um, after we got her all the resources, uh, I'm positive. Okay. The piglin doesn't seem to attack her, so that's good. Builders had the rack. One strip stem. Ward blocks. Three more of these. One, two, three. So. Okay, piglins don't aggro against citizens by default. Again? That's good. A lantern. I should have all the stuff for a lantern here. Um, random, random crafting table number 500. Uh, John, where's my <laughs> counter? <laughs> what number is this? Number six or seven? Um, here we go. The lantern. Then we need a rack. I think I know a, a nice new game we should make for when you start a new colony. What? Um, <coughs> we keep okay, a counter of every again. time you get lost. <laughs> every time <laughs> I get lost. Enough, it's it's yeah. not been. Since I was the start not. Of the I colony. didn't get lost yet on this server. So we need the warped blocks, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try to find basalt. I wonder if that in that biome over here we can find some basalt. Basalt. Um, I, it's a like top biome block for her. So another egg. And number six, he said. Okay, this here is a different biome. So I wonder if I have to go to this one here then. So we go back up again. I didn't see any basalt in the tunnel, I think, because I didn't find any in the chest either. But in this direction, there should be, as far as I can see that on the map, there should be basalt at the end of this direction, basically. Uh, drop. Basalt can be made by placing ice on top of lava. In the worst case, I guess finding ice is more difficult. And this is a completely different biome as well. We need this vanilla biome that actually spawns basalt. Okay, um, maybe this one here then. Yeah, my breadcrumb th trail. <laughs> yes, exactly. So. I have to say those endermen here are holding on to an awful lot of stuff. Um... Now, there's no way to get there. So, yeah, that's it's an awful lot of. Yes, exactly. 
But I'm looking for one of those basal datas, deltas, exactly. Is this here basal delta? Apparently it's still a warped forest in this area here. So no. Um, now that's, that's a disadvantage of having the additional biomes in the nether. Those basalt deltas are apparently difficult to find now. This is not a basalt data, delta. That I know. And that is the forest. Also not. This here is a basalt delta actually. So we do have to go back to our port. To the initial portal. Northeast you said. North. No. There's no basalt delta. This here is the basalt delta I think. If I'm not mistaken. Oh yes, I'm going to port those. Ah, here, this one here should be one too. I wonder. Is there a way I can actually find it? I think this here looks like a basal delta. So we just have to go quite the trip south. And then all the way north again. Yes. To the east one too. Can't see anything there, but we have to head south now. I do have some pickaxes with me, I do. Okay, let's head south a little bit. And head through this wall here. Should appear on the other side of this wall. I'm going to do the porting right after the stream, if I don't forget it. Just just PM me on Discord, Raven, about porting it. Then I, after the stream, I'm going to read your Discord PM, and I'm going to do it, actually. Yeah, I really hate that tool sound. Um, I do not know the exact uh, portal of our overworld nether portal. Do you know that, Sam? Mm, about minus 5000, minus 200 or so. So uh, around minus 5000, minus Yeah, uh, other way around. X force minus 200 and Z force minus uh. 5000. So... It's like in the middle of the ocean, floating above it. Oh, it's in the oh, middle of, in the, of the ocean, funny. <laughs> no, we didn't take a good place where we can get a lot of overworld resources. It had to be in the middle of the ocean. Sean, Sean knows it, apparently. Minus 295, uh, 5,179. Um, at least this tunnel is going to be a safe way to get there. Ah, you saw it on you saw it on the mini map, and you actually memorized it. Yep, cheating. So there we go. Ah, you wrote it. <laughs> you wrote it down. Okay, that explains it. At least if it's on the water, it's easy to reach by boat, I guess. At least one advantage of it. Some nether lapis. There we go. I made some small bug fixes today only, but the rest of the day I spend mostly on my PhD stuff. So here we go. Dum de dum de dum de dum. Almost, we're getting close. Oh yeah, that is... That is quite far away. Yeah, this annoying sound, I hate it. Break now already, break, nasty tool. Break it, nasty, yes. So... 
so we're not even halfway are we here I hope we're going to hit the overworld soon again so yes we did and we are in a weird other biome here yeah that's the tool breaking oh who who killed Bailey you nasty someone killed some nasty killed Bailey also that our builder I don't think so else it would have said no, kill the builder yeah. who cares then <laughs> <laughs> so it is bridging over here What is this Embur bog? Until we reach this one here. I can see already see it is a Basal Delta, so that's good news. Bad news if is a if a gas finds me here building a bridge on the top of this path. That would be really nasty. Yes, John, that one is fixed, but I just have to port it over to the newest 116. That's what uh, Raven promised to remind me about after the stream is over, so that I port the fixes really quickly, and so that Wizzy can do the quick update. Um, and now the builder was killed. I think the, some pigmen respawned yeah. within the area. That it will take us a little bit, or now the piglins seemed fine with our citizens. They were hanging around, not caring. I don't think that lighting it up will help, actually, will it? I think the problem is basalt. Here we are. Evan is now our new builder. While I get the basalt. So now, what we said is we're going to get just a ton of guards. Um, I would, I would even get archers. Nah, knights are better for starting. Knights. Right? Yeah, and because we got Enderman. Ah, true, we got Enderman. I forgot about that. And we need to end up uh, I think I needed around 39, but I'm going to get a little bit more. And the other builder also died. Is no one there to take the builder while I'm here getting the salt? So Yeah, I'm going to get two stacks actually. Just to to be sure. Because I'm sure that maybe one of the guard towers also needs it. And I don't want to run back and forth afterwards again. Oh, someone forgot. Translations. Oh, yeah. Um, I think the new Shadows pull request didn't include all the necessary translations then. How are we? A stack and 20. Ah, there are baby zombie piglins coming in. Darn it. So we have oh. to uh, add an additional layer down there. God, there's so many of these zombie piglins and they are all aggro if you hit one. Yeah. Like not, not even those who can see you, but everyone in the nether. Yeah, I think like di far distant uh, zombie piglins are like coming from the far edges of the nether like I'm going to get you for killing my brothers yeah they are all I would to me <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to add that zombie piglins are going to aggro a mod 
that makes zombie pickling aggro if you've eaten uh, pork in in game in the last two days. <laughs> that would be funny. Hi, True Shadow. Welcome to the stream. And hi, Hannah. How are you doing? It w would make sense. They would say like, "You've killed our overworld brothers. Now die." <laughs> Okay, Biohazard, have fun at the gym. Uh, don't forget leg day. Um, I'm, do I'm doing well, I'm doing well. And can't complain a lot. Things are progressing. It's fine. Work, work, work. You always forget leg days, don't do that. I mean, I do a delay. De I do capoeira, so that's like a martial art, and that's like heavily lower body based. So I only do some uh, basically 120 push ups uh, every second night uh, all at once, and then that's my, my upper body training, then, and that's how I stay fit. So, I, I, I do 60, not 120 all at once, but I do 60 small ones, like at the, for the triceps, and then 60 uh, very large ones without a break in between, even without a, in between the batches. So, no, I do capoeira, it's the... It's a Brazilian martial art, that is. So. so where's the way up here? We have to get in this direction. I think I have to walk around this here. What is kill what is attacking me? So Ah here are my bread crumbs, great. <laughs> so that's such a good idea to place them. <laughs> I'm still using them to guide me. And we're back here, uh, and I'm going to uh, close this here off now to make baby piglins not enter. So this side is is safe, and this side we still have baby piglins. I see. And I just saw that apparently. Someone placed a block outside to let piglins enter. So... This one is safe as well. Um... This one here is also getting safe. I Baby piglin safe. Again? So. Um, I think we're fine here now. Oh, there's two entered. How did they enter now? How did those two enter? How is it possible? Did they... Morning, maybe? Oh, here. I I'm found. getting some torches. Uh, they used the block to step up here. Come on. I don't need uh, a gas now shooting at us as well. I think now we're safe. I thought. 
So I, I brought the basalt and some more warp stems. But apparently there is... No, I brought all of it. Okay. So... There's apparently still somewhere a way for citizens to die here. So that here is safe. That here is safe. By the way, I noticed we can't make archer guards anyway. Because we got no string for both. The current music that's playing on uh, Pretzel is by Vision Beats and Kino Set Me Free. So, so all of here seems safe. I can't find any other place where our builder could die. So we do need warp blocks, some of the fence, some of the stairs, the remaining netherrack. So only some warped fence and some warped stairs are missing. Where's my random here? Some warped stairs and some warped fence. Is that enough? Enough fence? So no, enough stairs, not enough fence. Here you get the remaining. Um, and I'm going to get some more warped trees. The pretzel rock apps is not working nicely. That's weird. Uh, I think it is because this is the new beta side of uh, of pretzel rocks, so that is not showing. So that is not yet connecting to the stream. They set up a new system that kind of sucks. But has much more music <laughs> and they brought it out super half ass I get like, to build it again? half ready half baked with the tons of bucks with tons of bucks so more fence okay we got all of the blocks and the wooden pickaxe okay now the builder is basically ready and we can help him clear here a little bit already clear all those fungus here so that's one thing i guess i'm going to harvest them uh, I did put the wooden pickaxe in as well, so that is also done. Let's remove those. Uh, switch to a pickaxe. Get some. We make a new pickaxe. An iron one, so we don't waste our diamond pickaxe remaining durability we might need. So. And our builder, what are you doing at the moment? Mourning. Eh? That's what I guessed. I'll You're unhappy about the again. death of your friends. And I'm going to extend the wall on this side here. <laughs> to make sure that... Ah, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, Enderman. I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> I did it again. But this time it was by accident. <laughs> now you're scared of the way. You see? <laughs> now he ran off. Now he ran off. There he is. Okay. But we're actually making pro uh, yeah. progress here, so that's nice. And did, did you review this? Yeah. 
Okay, great. So... It might go a bit into the roof at higher levels, but that's interesting. Yeah, but that's fine, that's fine. So... Come on, I just want to kill enough from you, so that we can actually make space. At least now we know how we get the leather and we don't even need... <laughs> and we're not go even going to need the cow herder for the leather. Well, we need it for the citizen limit upgrades. Okay, right, we're going to make a config setting to change that. <laughs> <laughs> Death, death playing. No, that's that's terrible. I'm going to to make. Change. I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's like when CPV starts uh, doing modpack stuff. Up till then, every modpack maker had it, the same issues. Then he had experienced the same them as well, and <laughs> yes. then they the forge. <laughs> yes, and then it so, makes it yeah. into Forge. It's like when someone at Forge starts needing core mods for what they're doing. Then they are fine, yeah. <laughs> oh, some of them made it up somehow. Ah, there's still a way up? Okay. I have to make this way not passable anymore. Oh, it's the morning. Yeah, it will take a day. So... Ah, it's, it's like half a day. So... Hey, I have on my list, after I finish the building rework, I'm going to do a family rework. I already announced it a few times. And that's going to include that citizens are only going to mourn if they live together with someone or they are in their immediate family in the terms of parents or sisters brother sisters or son daughter right um so what do you mean with that even if you update the ones in the schematic server. So. So, I think this side here is actually the fine. And we don't even need this wall here anymore. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, now I got what you meant. We got 15 people on that today. Oh, wow. quite a few. And 20 TPS. That's not bad. Yeah. Nothing to complain about. Yeah. Imagine on Forgecraft that amount of people. <laughs> we prefer Forge. It's death. <laughs> but also, to be honest, it's the... Still, when they profile, it's like... Rats mod. <laughs> Being yeah, the main I mean, they got some more lengthy mods. It, they it's, got it, a lot of tech mods so items. It, very it's, I, I try to to talk to people and say, if you do pathfinding, do a synchronous pathfinding. Do it, please. What? Do everyone the favor to not use uh, pathfinding on the main first. thread because it's absolutely horrible. Oh, and I know that it's actually my. It's not Kugo's fault. We had to update to 116.4 and something broke and I have to see what, what happened there. It's not... Don't blame Kugo. It's not, not his fault. The builder... Potentially here we can even do the same thing. Can even make this upper area kind of like uh, the initial fortress, kind of, you know? Yeah. Like to protect against the intruders. That's we're going to idea. have this uh, higher level. And then we're going to have like different levels, but we're always going to have some walls extra. And then we can place in on the intersections, basically. 
Yes. So bad monsters can't just go through. Yes, exactly. And I'm currently updating the schematic server to 116.4, yes. That's something... Mr. S Mr. and Mrs. Enderman, if you could leave this corner please so I can place blocks and avoid mobs going up. No? Okay, that's fine. Just place blocks around you to avoid that. Yeah, that should be fine. I hate those two breaking sounds. It's, it's horrible. It's absolutely... Who, who invented this? Why did a mod add something like this? Must be Tetra. <laughs> no, it's not Tetra. We had that on the 115 mm -hmm. server already too. Oh. And we do not have special raiders for the nether yet, no. But we had some suggestions like zombie barbs already, yes. Yeah. For the nether. We, we could actually just ask uh, an artist to make zombie fight versions. Of all the yeah. of all the mobs, basically, yeah. just creating zombified versions of all the mobs is probably way enough. So we don't even need a wall on this side anymore because it is already high enough to avoid any piglins to enter. That's nice. Oh, it's a problem. It's still morning. And on this side, as far as I can see, as well. So the only side where we don't have that yet is on this one here. And mummies are already... <laughs> they are zombified version, yes. <laughs> eh, mummies... To be honest, we I could imagine mummy spawning in Soul Sand Valley. Yeah. That sounds like a fitting nether raid for sure. So So here we basically can also do this the thing. Where we just protect against pleasure. intruders so that is done so I just have to kill this zombie fight piglin here you nasty Killing a bunch of them again. And then on this side... On this side it's I think a little bit more difficult. Although however maybe not. Um, although I'm running out of food. Yeah, maybe not. It's actually... Also quite easy. So this here is done. So here we go. Also closing this off. Ouch. Magma block hurt. Uh, oh, there's a path up here. Closed. Now you're nasty, I don't want anything to do with you. And here are the piglins. There's no other up, way up here. Oh! Oh, come on, you nasty. I need some food urgent. 
I go back inside. But it seems our upper platform is pretty safe. Um, let's go down to the ship quickly and get some food and dump some of the stuff we gathered here. We could, after our builder did the uh, guard towers, let, let him make a field with water, with water to like build some food for us. Oh, yeah, potentially. I saw there is a warped field schematic for that. Ah, purpose. nice. So that's a bunch of that warped stuff. So much. Then we have mob drops uh, here, and more of this. No, bad piglin. Stop attacking our citizens. Did another piglin make it in again? Yeah. And now the food, 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 food. Oops. Not even sure how. Plants and food here. And oh no, and our citizen for fell down. Fell down down there where the piglins can walk around. I do guess I have to uh, ins not only make the area like kind of wall from down but also add something to prevent citizens from jumping down too right yeah. they jump down sometimes relatively ridiculously high um, okay someone is mad at me I'll run <laughs> I uh, how do you always ah, us? Who, who destroyed my safe spot Come on, who destroyed the overhang? There was overhang for a reason? I, who did this? Just wanted to see me die. We just need to use your shield. Awesome, Seminus. That sounds great. Okay. Someone destroyed my overhang. I do not approve. Yes, there will uh, likely be less block lag. The, where the 115 server is hosted, the server is a little bit better. But it's also because here, this server here, um, has some, some issues. Because the, the SATA drive, the um, SSD drive, is slightly and um, slowly dying. I make here a overhang to fight. The app apparently the SSD in this server is already several times over the right the actual right limit. Oh, there's a citizen down here. Is someone at the town hall at the moment? Mm, I tried to recall him. It's the uh, one which fell down, but uh, yeah, Gerard. doesn't. But recall doesn't work apparently. Recall doesn't work. So there's one easy way to do the recall. Manuel. Fire Gerard. Recall Gerard. Wow, we got some pathfinding sections in our lock. Fire. And who was... Was it Melanie? I'm experiencing some lag. Yeah, sometimes... There is, at the moment, a little bit of a... Uh, lag ah, as well. That's funny. What? Our citizens are throwing exceptions on pathfinding. In the nether? Because, yeah, because these uh, vine blocks count as letters but are missing ah. some properties. Can you send me that via PM as well? Yeah. 
So... Um, did the server crash or did I disconnect? Oh, seems it crashed. Time out. Uh, I think it crashed. Oh, or it is crashing. crashing. Let me connect again. And let's see what crashed actually again. Here we go. Go in the server. Nothing specific. Nothing specific. I wonder if that was me because I was scrolling up in Teamux to see um, the issues. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see what it says here. Server chunk detected a single chunk took longer. But what was that? Seems like a normal chunk load somehow. Yeah, I wonder if it, it I, I, I could wonder, have been me. I, I wonder if that is actually a problem with the SSD. Maybe the SSD yeah. is slowing down, which is making the thick disk accesses slow. You know? Oh. And slows down all the world loading. I could imagine that being gun when we move that on the weekend over. Yeah, my At least I remember uh, Virgin being fast down the 150. So... Um, I mean, now we wait for this, uh... sent me something. Ah, you sent me the... Ah, yes, I did see that already. Block twisting wine doesn't have the facing property. Um, but apparently it does count as later. Yes, I'm, I'm going to treat twisting vines just exactly the same way we are treating the scaffolding. Yeah. Because that's, that also started crashing because for exactly the same reason. Um, and that should then solve that problem. Yeah, I know that clicking refreshes slows down the server a little bit. But it solves my anxiety clicking refresh. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, that's always this trade off, right? <laughs> so, we're logging in. Let's see how, how far that rolled us back. Hopefully, not too far. Um, and the colonist died. And Melanie is working, so that's some good news at least. I don't know. <laughs> Died of ah, that's the colonist which fell down. Yeah, the colonist I actually recalled. Yeah. But then mm -hmm. a crash that's happened. Yeah. So I wonder where she's actually mining at the moment. So I could potentially help her out. Did you give her a pickaxe yet? Yes. So I'm pretty sure that. Okay, I'm going to just render anything. Okay, that is definitely... So that is... Oh lord. Um, so she... This goes until here. So until here... We have to mine out, basically. 
so... And I'm going to help her out a little bit. And I think her pickaxe just broke. Oh, pretend... Yeah, I, I was thinking about adding a little wall additionally. But an overhang probably does uh, the same trick. So probably we do want wall and overhang. Are you making a pickaxe for her? Yeah. Okay, great. Where did she go? So... What? Did she, did she get hungry or so? Ah, uh, she's going to sleep. She went where? Going to sleep. Sleep? Nah. Yeah. Nasty and sound again. Nasty. Nasty. Uh, and afterwards she's going to mourn. And afterwards she's going to mourn again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Good start. So yes, um uh, a disadvantage uh, we, we could make that since early on no one is living together that probably makes colony starts a little bit easier because then morning is gone until you have a tavern right yeah. I guess that is also going to be one headache factor less oh wow quite late. That's going to help out a little bit. So, that is here. Um, but that is on my list. I'm going to also make sure that um, daughters can't marry their fathers and we don't have Oedip Oedipus complexes either. Where the sons marry the mothers, nor sibling marriage. Uh, those things we're going to have adjusted, right? So the citizen hut goes until here only. So that is the. We want to make a second That is the limit of the. Of the builder, basically. Can now stop rendering it actually. Now I know how I want it more or less. And yeah, at the moment that is probably happening. There's like a f there was a, a thread I, I saw these days of a guy that created a um, inheritance tree software and then had a problem because a client said the program was crashing for him because he has children with his daughter <laughs> and that created a loop in the program <laughs> if, if I had a client like that I would say like um, I think you can't be my client anymore, and I think I have to call the police on you too. <laughs> hey, we we can make coin flips for the names. I, I do. We can do that. Yes. I think it already has that. Uh, I I would have. Guessed it was uh, uh, in the in in Murica because there are some of these very religious groups uh, like Mormons that sometimes have some crazy shit. But also, it, it sounds a little bit Austrian as well. <laughs> Everyone who remembers the the famous story in Austria. So, yeah, in, in most countries I believe he would be in jail for doing for that. As far as I know, in Germany, even marriage 
among first grade cousins was against the law. But I'm not sure how it is with having children between first grade cousin if that is against the law. How that would be handled. But I do know it's against the law, marriage, again, between first grade cousins. I mean, especially European countries know a lot about what kind of king's incest produces. <laughs> Oh, even second and third degree, uh, degree cousin is illegal there. That I find a little bit uh, exaggerated. Not that I would ever do that, but I think as long as it's not first grade cousin, I think it's fine. And basically all the royal families are just incest. <laughs> Right. And that's how they maintained those uh, pure bloodlines. Ah, they can't ma- ah, okay, get it. Ah! You nasty. I think I looked at an Enderman again. See them? Yeah, Einstein married his, his cousin that I know. And, and it was also kind of a super weird story with Einstein. Einstein. Where he is like, he got closer to his cousin while he was still married to his first wife. Which also sounds kind of, yeah. Too much information. Come for me, come. Don't s stand around stupidly there. Come, come, come. Yeah. Socially he wasn't... In general, didn't he also have this thing with... Uh, one uh, someone in his family that had a disability that he kind of ignored or something like this as well. But in general, I would say a lot of the geniuses in our story, in our history, have been had some serious social issues. I'm not sure what it was exactly. I don't remember the whole story. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it wasn't autism. Eh. Einstein nowadays would have probably been... Um... Diagnosed... Uh... With autism. Even though I wouldn't say with a very high degree, but some lower degree of autism for sure. Um. So, oh nice, yes, glowstone. Yeah. It, it depends on the degree of autism, right? Uh, depends on how the high degree of autism is. Um, my prof my professor has two sons, uh, twins, different from different exiles. Twins both have autism. There is a, a lot of bad luck there, and one of them is, I would say, has has a disability because he has like strong issues. He is uh, five six years old, doesn't talk a word yet. Or, it's actually not true, it's like, when he talks, he talks, says one word and pronounces it perfectly. <laughs> but doesn't ever talk, basically. And the other one, 
is like already is like super talented and taught himself to write and read at the age of three basically and uh, is nice is like using Google Translate to learn Italian and English and whatever so that's like super interesting yeah it's only because nowadays we detect all this like like I'm saying a lot of these things it's because we detect those things nowadays and a lot of these things we thought in the past didn't exist but people actually killed their children when they were weird or something like that it was like a shame to have someone like that in the family and people wouldn't just like oops that one fell on his head So, yeah, the fairies took our children, oops, <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Well, nowadays, we have A, the, uh, the means to detect it, and B, the means to support it, and like, poor families, if they had kids that were inept, socially inept, or something like that, uh, those kids would either die because of some general reasons getting lost in the forest or something like that and much much more easily than the other kids right uh, yeah. so now we have to see where is that way she's uh, currently still mining out where are you mining out now is it up here let's see it's going to break a block in a second. Do you have to uh, redo the tutorial for the builder each time as well? Each time? What do you mean? Each time I'm opening the builder's uh, UI, he shows me the guide. Should only happen I once. Yeah, pleasure. shows me each time. So. I think it didn't you I think you might not have gotten the colony founding um it might be oh I might maybe I think I didn't update yet as well so I may be on an older version ah that's possible too um yes exactly the same thing with allergies in the past, people were just much more likely to just die of all of all kinds of allergies, especially like if you the allergy, strong allergies, like anything that would give you an anaphylactic shock. The first time you get an anaphylactic shock, uh, that that was it. There was no med. There was no one being able to give you to save you from that until uh, relatively recently. Even considering, like, you're saying 150 years, but for the vast amount of humanity that was maybe more like 60 years or something like that, I would even say. I can't imagine that in, in the 20s and the more rural areas you had support to survive these kinds of things. So that citizen that died, I can't find why they died. Ah, they definitely would climb down the twisting veins. That they could. Wasn't the one that died the one which fell down there? I did one fall down here. Yeah. So. Some mob kinda chased him off. So. So all those kinds of things, it's... And then people say it's like vaccines uh, is what actually is causing all those things. And vaccines are actually not working, we don't need them. See? I didn't get vaccinated, I didn't get it. You didn't get it because all the people around you were vaccinated. And that's why you can't get the, la <laughs> the illness. Darn you Darn fool. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something about statistics before making assumptions first.
My parents are currently a little bit on the conspiracy train as well. Not good enough, eh? Like my, uh, like I was, my father was complaining about the lockdowns and these kinds of things, and then I, I, I told him very clearly and said, yeah, but these kinds of lockdowns are only necessary because of people like you. You can't. You're the last one who is allowed to complain about the lockdown. You're the one that is shaking still hands of your friend, not caring about your hand hygiene and uh, not wearing a proper mask the right way. If anything, we should have lockdowns only for people like you. I didn't say that last part, but I said you're the last person to uh, to be allowed to complain about the lockdown because we have lockdowns because of people Just like you that not do not yeah. that uh, think they have to travel, that think they have to do whatever, uh, make party, shake their friends' hands, and whatever. Yeah. And then we get doctors and all these people who have been listening, uh, yeah, are locked on as well. And then, like, yeah, if we then get into exponential growth because people do not follow basic principles. Again? Come on, basic principles of hygiene, come on. Hygiene. Yes, exactly. And not even for themselves, I told that my father. It's my father was like, ah, it's like smoking. That's everyone's responsibility. I said, no, it's and I said, yes, it's exactly like smoking. That's why smoking inside a restaurant is now forbidden. Because you smoking, you're affecting other people. If you smoke, if you wear not a mask in your house, no one cares. But if you smoke in a bar or restaurant or if you walk without a mask in a supermarket and sneeze around, that's exactly the same equivalent. Yes, some nice color here. And then, like, my father still is like, ah, but this, this test is not super accurate. And I said, yes, this test was not designed, and everyone knows that this test was not designed to detect, detect foolproof if someone has it, if, if someone doesn't have it. So, the test was designed to detect with a very high probability if someone has it, that this person is true in the test. And if someone doesn't have it, it might still say true, but that doesn't matter because what we have to detect with the most uh, accuracy is if someone has it so that we can quarantine those people and another thing thing we can say statistically even if and I said even if the test only detect is only 1% right so even if only 1% of the positives would be actual positives then if we have, with the same amount of tests, now 10,000 more cases than last week, that means a very high percentage of additional cases are there as well. That's basic statistics. Yeah, allergies are basically the, the body going on war with itself. Are they sleeping? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to place some more torches around here again. And next day they are hopefully working. <laughs> Once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I get to build it again? I serve with oh, you need some pleasure. food. I get to build it Didn't again? We start to build our last, last stream already. <laughs> So, I no, I, I only started at the beginning of this stream, <laughs> and uh, she's mining out for a while. But we had a lot of casualties as well. Why do we have two builders, by the way? Because I made another one, so we don't have to wait on that one. So. Uh, she's mourning, of course. 
Okay. Salt with two, it would be. Uh, oh, yeah, we definitely have to take another lo layer of soil anyway. That's true. And if we have two and build stuff, then we can also fire her afterwards to become something. True. Else. We can hire one to become a guard. Yeah. So. Taking out a little bit of this layer here. But yeah, people, please just wash your hands regularly. Put some alcohol when you go into oh the no. supermarket. We got a ghast. Fight ghast attacking our citizens. As even, oh no. I think I can hit it return to sender, right? Although that is very unlikely yeah. with lag to happen. But we should, like, make our wall higher so I can't see. <laughs> it's, it's funny to build in a... <laughs> In a very in hostile Indiana. environment, right? So... So I definitely advise people to only do this if they have some reasonable mine colonies experience already. Because it is uh, a little bit tougher than the average uh, colony experience. Yeah, for sure. I've seen some, uh, someone telling me they're playing it on hardcore mode. Oh, wow, they shot again. Where? Over the wall. Yeah. Over, over, over wall. that little gap of wall. Yeah. Come on. So we really have to close it actually. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Until no. we have archers. I think archers would take them down nicely. They got no string for archers. No, not yet, yes. We actually have... We actually do we have string for archers. String, right? We do have some spider webs in the ship. Yeah, true. So that should be enough for now. But I used some string earlier for gut towers. Because you can only make them with a bow. So... I so how are you? Still morning. Still morning. Still morning. Still morning. morning. So I need to destroy even this one here. My pickaxe pick is making is um theoretically uh yeah. Yes, uh, we, we are not going to have colony style specific uh, out voice sounds most likely. Hi Chef, how are you doing? But actually you can do that with an, uh, uh, just a resource pack you can play with and add that kind of string. If you wanted. So, or if you wanted enough, let's say it like that. So, some of these around. Still morning. Melanie. Please. I serve with pleasure. I think in general we're fine. Did someone fall down here? Um, ever think of doing a chat only responses from the citizen? What do you mean with that? Chat only responses from citizen. Not good enough, eh? Not sure I understand what you mean with that. Ah, uh, like. In parallel, while well, while they're talking, they also put it over their heads. Is that what you mean, or something? Chat only then. Um, and maybe over their head, I could imagine. 
Not in the chat, in the actual chat though. Because it would spam up the chat, right? I think that should be enough. This here should be enough. Covering enough ground. To be fine. Are you still mourning, Melanie? I get to build it again? Wasn't it half a day? Yeah, and I don't think we had someone die last day. We had someone dying last day. Really? Yes. But how are we? We can't see the game time in the nether, right? Yeah. Um. Guess we can like uh, cover some trees in the meanwhile. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, we got some mana pearls, right? And I'm checking if we can make a teleport here. Yeah, there are a few th small things that show up in the chat. Uh, like the builder building stuff, a few things we do not have a targeted player for. Um, so those show up in the, in the chat. Like, we used to have very spammy colonists. For everyone who remembers playing uh, in the past years. Can I maybe jump this? I can't. We used to have very spammy colonists that sent everything in the chat. And then we adjusted it to those speech bubbles over their head. Uh, none of them have it. Yeah, here. Those speech bubbles that opens those GUIs. Uh, we adjusted it to that then, and I think that's one of the of the nicest changes we had in the cur in the terms of that. I think it also added a lot of a lot more immersion. I feel instead of the chat messages. And get to build it again? often you missed a message, and then you didn't know what the problem was. So that was another problem of the old system. Where it's now like kind of saved, right? Come on, Melanie. Still morning. Um, I I like to play with the voice pack. Without the voice pack, uh, it's a little it's a little bit different. Yes. With the voice pack, you don't have uh, a lot of duplication. But that builder definitely overlaps with a town hall, doesn't it? The one yes. you've placed. No, it's uh, like one block apart. Is it like really one block apart? Yeah. Yeah, it's really close, I see it. Yes. Is. A <laughs> deep fake pr pr procedural voice chat. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd absolutely love that. We only record uh, the the leathers and then build the words together. But for that, you need like some really good voice engines, right? And even like even the ones in the modern in modern systems. Still sound very robotic, right? The systems that build it more procedural, like uh, your navigation system or even something like that. <laughs> yes, just a phenemis. <laughs> Whose PhD project is that going to be then? Everyone mourning here. I guess we can. Take down this wall now. I mean, a good system like that you could sell for millions, probably. I think it's just something 
It's because our languages are very... I think especially for English, it's difficult. Because English is phonetically very inconsistent. Um... While some other language, like maybe with German, where you pronounce each letter in the word is a little bit easier. But probably you could fiddle, fit just the phonetic description into the script to say them. Like load them from a dictionary directly. And I still imagine that being still a nasty amount of work, else we would have some decent ones already that do not sound very robotic. Like even if I like the series in Alexas and etc. Uh, for me still sound very there's an AI talking and not a human from the voice alone already yeah yeah we got very good face generation those I've seen as well there's this not a person thing where you're like oh hell is this crazy and it just generate random people. That that is pretty crazy. I've seen those. I guess voice is one of the next things. But yeah, I imagine that is a little bit more complex than the faces. There is very good voice generation, but imagine it being like awfully expensive. Because at least I have not seen any in any... Because no program I've seen so far has a reasonable ones. And a lot of them even could afford it. So I believe that there must be reasons for that then. That's nice. Uh, Portuguese is also very consistent phonetically most of the times German German as well there are some things that are kind of a little bit weird but those are not so many exceptions uh, yeah that's probably it as well oh yeah I've seen a few of these already. The spoon. There's some detections we can do without needing cameras. Yeah, the big... It, it, that's not a problem, John. Because in the worst case, if it's a C library, you can always use uh, uh, one of the... J and I or something like this that do Java integrations with C, C++. So that's not a real problem. So she is working yeah. now. But we still don't know what she's actually digging out, do we? What are you digging out, my friend? Still confused. Up there? So you digging out up here? I think she's making progress. Enough, eh? She needs a pick, I a new pickaxe. You have a pickaxe. Enough, eh? Ah, okay. You can't mine those blocks here. 
Okay, now I can try cancel that. Yeah. Our second builder is working, but does nothing. I serve with she does nothing? No, nothing. That says this work. Didn't even get it. Someone triggered the an enderman. Ah, it was me. Oh, it was you. Or did you hit him just? I get to build so. it again? Um, it is getting pretty late and we d went a little bit over time even. Um, so we're making some progress, we got our area secured at least here. So now we can a make actual again. progress. Um, I hope we got at least the builder maybe finished until tomorrow that we can start doing some other things. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in as always and thanks a lot as well for engaging in the chat with us. Makes the time pass much quicker and makes everything much more interesting. Um, if you want to support our channel and especially our mod development, consider becoming a Patreon and also get access to our nice little server here. You can always also follow the channel which is free or subscribe as well for some smaller benefits. I hope you enjoyed today's videos. Um, thanks Shirley and Sam for hanging out, out with us as well. Good night everyone. Good night. Until tomorrow.